We've got a Hawaiian menu of pineapple pork skewers, ahi tuna poke, and pineapple cheesecakes with toasted coconut and macadamia nuts set on the island of Montanui. You're welcome! To get those Motunui vibes, I hung Pareos over my dining room doors. These are actually my mom's Pareos. Thanks, mom. And she had this brilliant idea to mimic the tapestries in the opening scene of Moana when she's a baby. I hung purple lays on the back of the chairs, which also served as a take-home gift for my guests. And I decorated the table with banana leaves, a conch shell, and pineapples instead of flowers. I used hibiscus napkin rings with banana leaf colored napkins. Oh, we gotta point out the little hey hey reference on the table. And I used raffia placemats for kind of that rugged tropical vibe. I hung more orchid lays from the chandelier as well as from my china cabinet. I actually had two colors of these fabulous hibiscus napkin rings and because of the lays and the napkin rings on the table I actually decided to just do the pineapples as the centerpiece in lieu of flowers so I thought that was pretty cool. I also had this great orchid in the corner with a real coconut and a fabulous coconut candle to really give that relaxing island feel. It was just so pretty and so chic. On my chalkboard, I actually drew Moana's boat symbol instead of putting a catchphrase and I tucked banana leaves just all over the dining room, really wherever I could to make it feel like we're on an island. For my Moana Disney bounding, I wore a red and off-white tropical print dress with a blue necklace that was reminiscent of the heart of Tefiti, as well as nude heels because Moana is barefoot, a white flower crown, and a purple lei. I can't believe it, but I forgot to take video footage of my gorgeous Mai Tais. I served delicious Hawaiian Mai Tais with real orchid blooms in them. It was so fabulous and you can find that recipe on therosetable.com. For the first course, I decided to serve pineapple pork skewers. This also had red onion and red bell pepper. You just marinate the pork in your favorite barbecue sauce and thread them on a skewer, throw them on the grill for 10 to 15 minutes until they're smoky and juicy and oh so delicious. This is great with rice for dinner or just to serve as a skewer for a simple appetizer, especially great when you are serving fish for your main course. How good does that look? Oh my gosh. For the main course, I served the popular Hawaiian dish poke. Now, if you like sushi, you will like poke. I promise. It's very similar except in a bowl instead of served as a roll. So all you need is sushi grade, either ahi tuna or salmon would be really great in this dish. And you're just going to toss that together in a quick, delicious sauce and then plate it up with some avocado, cucumber, some rice, and then add a little bit of sesame seed and green onion garnish. It is so good and great in the summer because you don't have to cook Cook anything. Did you get a oh my god, it's so good. Is it? Mm -hmm. Oh good. Stephanie, um, we all talk about our favorite Disney movie and why. My favorite Disney dinner. I mean Disney movie. Hello. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry, what are we doing? My favorite Disney this? movie is um Mulan. But in so the answer has changed. When I was young, I would have said Aladdin. When I was in college, I definitely would have said um, Hercules, and now I say Mulan only because Mulan is the most badass character to badass. me. Mine's Beauty and the Beast. Mm -hmm. um, I just watched it a lot as a kid, and um, I just also really like Angela Lansbury singing. Beauty <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful moment. Yeah, like it's so good. <laughs> For dessert, I served mini pineapple cheesecakes with a coconut whipped cream, hidden Mickey, macadamia nuts, and toasted coconut with rich caramel sauce. Oh my gosh, this is a winner. So I have to give you a compliment because I really don't like cheesecake and I'm gonna go get some more. Yay! So, <laughs> so happy to so hear good. that. If that is not the best compliment that you can give a home chef, I just don't know what is. Thank you, Brandon. I love this dessert too. I absolutely loved how everything was different. I loved how the first course was grilled, then you had like the poke, which was really good. I loved the little scallions, gave it a nice little kick. Um, and you know, I don't love cheesecake, but that was amazing, I had two. That cheesecake was like my favorite part. Yeah. It's so good. And then the Mai Tai, mmm, with the hibiscus flower. Oh my gosh, I've gotta bring up the alcohol. <laughs> I love the cocktails. Oh, it was fantastic. Mm. So I have to say that this was the hardest
artist for me to put together because I just could not get all the elements for Moana together. This pretty much came together in the last 48 hours. My mom did so much help, but now that Moana has happened, I have to say this is one of my favorite Disney dinners because Woo! we just had the best time. Woo! This has been so fun and the menu felt really easy. So I like this a lot. So thanks for coming. Bravo! Bravo!